students welcome to all of you in comptia a plus lecture 2 and i am your instructor amar bali in our lecture 1 we try to cover what is computer computer cases types of power supplies electrostatic discharge and some safety measures in our today's lecture we are going to discuss about motherboard and its main components types of ram cpu and some other important components integrated on motherboard so let's take a start the motherboards the motherboard is the backbone of your computer system also known as the main board it is a printed circuit board pcb that contains buses the electronic pathways on motherboard are known as buses these electronic pathways or buses helps to interact electronic components of motherboard with each other these components may be attached directly to the motherboard or added using sockets expansion slots and ports there are three main types of buses data bus address bus and control bus these buses helps to move our data from one component to another motherboards are of two main types integrated motherboards which are non repairable and are new type of motherboards and non integrated motherboards which are repairable and are of old type of motherboards motherboard components remember that all the components of our computer are connected directly or indirectly with our motherboard in any fashion major components on a motherboard include central processing unit cpu random access memory ram expansion slots chipset basic input output system known as bios chip and latest one unified extensible firmware interface uefi chip our motherboard also has sata connectors and internal usb connect motherboard chipset motherboard chipset actually shows the design of our internal computer chipset consists of integrated circuits on the motherboard that control how system hardware interact with the cpu and motherboard and you can also say that how our data move from one device to another or one component to another most chipsets consists of in two types north bridge and south bridge north bridge normally control the high speed devices in our network that are ram and video card south bridge allows the cpu to communicate with slow speed devices including our hard drives universal serial bus usb ports and expansion slots the motherboard form factor the form factor of motherboard actually shows us the design and shape of motherboard there are three common motherboard form factors available in the market atx advanced technology extended micro atx and itx the choice of motherboard form factor determines how individual components attached to it the type of power supply it requires and the shape of the computer case atx advanced technology extended is the most popular form factor available in the size of 12 by 9.6 inch micro atx some having smaller footprint than the atx popular in desktop and small form factor computers available in 9.6 by 9.6 inches mini itx designed for small devices such as thin clients and set top boxes available in 6.7 by 6.7 inch and finally itx compatible for form factor 2 micro atx available in 8.5 by 7.5 inches motherboard expansion slots most commonly known as pci slots pci stands for peripheral component interconnect and was introduced by intel in 1990s 
This replaced old 8 and 16 bit expansion slots with a 32 bit slot. PCIX extended incorporates a 64 bit data, ba data bus that was considerably faster than the PCI slot but not used because of the overall size of the bus. It was difficult to incorporate on the motherboard. That's why not being used in our nowadays computer. The next one is and the latest one is PCIe known as PCIe Express is the newest expansion slot being used in modern computers. PCIe sends data in a serial stream at higher speed than conventional PCI. These serial streams are referred to as LANs. Also available mini PCI slots but those modified to be applied to laptops. CPU Central Processing Unit also known as the brain of our computer and is the most important part of our computer. CPU is responsible for interpreting and executing commands. The CPU is a small microchip that resides inside a CPU package. The CPU socket is the connection between the motherboard and the processor. Modern CPU sockets and processor packages are built in following architecture or you can also say that there are two types of uh, CPUs PGA pin grid array and LGA land grid array. In PGA the pins are on the underside of the processor package and is inserted into the motherboard CPU socket while in LGA the pins are in the socket instead of on the processor. Processor is used to process our data. A central processing unit CPU is an important part of every computer. The CPU sends signals to control all the other parts of your computer also called the brain of your computer system. The CPU is an electronic device that works on a list of computer things to do called instructions. It reads the list of instructions and does execute all the functions one by one in an order. A list of instructions that a CPU can run is called computer program. CPU has two types of speeds processing or refreshing speed measured in hertz or gigahertz and second one is your bus speed or data transfer speed measured in bits per second. 1 gigahertz mean 1 billion cycles per second. For compatibility the bus speed or transfer speed of your motherboard and CPU must be same. If motherboard is 64 bits CPU must be 64 bit cooling system or heat sink. Computer components perform better when kept cool. Computers are kept cool using active and passive cooling solutions. Active solutions require power or electricity while the passive solutions don't need power or electricity. Passive solutions for cooling usually involves reducing the speed at which a component is operating or adding heat sinks to computer chips. A case fan is considered as active cooling or cooling system. Nowadays in latest and high speed computers liquid cooling systems are also available. Types of memory. A computer might use different types of memories and many different types of memory chips. All memory chips store data in the form of bytes. The smallest unit of data is called bit and 8 bits forms a byte. A byte is a block of 8 bits stored as either zeros or ones as in binary in computer use binary language and in binary we have only two digits zeros and ones. Zero means off and one means on in the memory chip. Read only memory ROM such as ROM chips and random access memory RAM is the temporary memory working storage for 
data and programs that are being accessed or are in use by CPU. RAM is a volatile memory, means all the data will be lost in case of power cycle. Adding more RAM in the computer means faster performance. However, the maximum amount of RAM that can be installed is limited by the motherboard. Memory chips are attached to a circuit board to create a memory module which is placed into a memory slot on the motherboard. Different types of memory modules are DIP, SIMM, DIMM and SODIMM. The speed of memory has a direct impact on how much data a processor can process in a given period of time. For compatibility issues, the speed of our motherboard, RAM and CPU must be same. The faster memory is typically static RAM known as SRAM which is used as cache memory. Cache is very fast type of memory and used to speed up our devices. There are three main types of cache memory, L1 cache found on UPS or CPU, L2 cache on motherboard and L3 cache on RAM. Different type of memories also have different error checking methods. In non-parity memory does not check error in memory. Parity memory contains 8 bits for data and 1 bit for error checking. Error correction code ECC memory can detect multiple bits in memory and correct single bit. Adapter cards are also very important for a computer system. Adapter cards increase the functionality of a computer by adding controllers for specific devices or by replacing malfunctioning ports. Through these cards, we can attach multiple devices with our computer and we can also connect our computer in the network and most commonly we use wireless network adapter to connect our computer with internet. The common adapter cards include sound adapters, network interface card, NIC, wireless network interface card, video adapter or display adapter, capture card, TV tunnel card, USB controller, universal bus controller card and eSATA card. Expansion slots or PCI slots. All the computers have expansion slots on the motherboard to install adapter cards. The type of adapter cards, card connectors must match the type of expansion slot. Common expansion slots include peripheral component, interconnect PCI, mini PCI, PCI extended CIX, PCI Express PCIe, riser card, accelerator, graphic port, AGP. Like the other important components, CPU, RAM and so on, you will also found some other types of devices connected on your motherboard. Those are capacitors, ICs, chips, accelerator, graphic port, IDE connectors, SATA connectors, BIOS chips and heat sinks. All these are actually the ports available on our motherboard to attach adapter cards and through these adapter cards we can improve the performance of our computer. Thank you dear students for today and if you have any question you may can send a voice note on WhatsApp and I will try to answer all your questions.